It's a busy episode today. Ian, the Master of Pieces part-time eBay reseller here. We're out doing some charity shopping to try and find some bits to resell. And eBay sales have been good, so I've got to keep the stock coming in. But not too much stock because I've got those two big bags of really cool retro items that I got from Connor, the Welsh poker pick. I've not showed you them yet. I've not actually been to the bottom of both the bags yet myself, but we'll run through that a bit later. I'll also take you through some bits that I've sold on eBay, but first, let's hit those charity shops and find some bargains. Let's do it. Have a look at this Halloween display in there. Look at that, that picture's amazing. Bit of knitwear, cool mask. Look at that. I'm gonna go and see if some of this is for sale, actually. I see a Transformers symbol. Autobot symbol on the front there, 50p. It's a rescue box, see if we can do it one-handed. Can you transform it? Where's his head? Have a look, see if you can find it. It's under there. And there he is, well done. There he is, should we get him? Yeah. Nice. He's an astronaut. He's brilliant. A little bit of Lego up here. That's Trolls. Lego Trolls World Tour. Looks like a balloon. And it looks brand new. All the tabs are still sealed. Well, apart from that one down there, but you couldn't get into the box with just one tab open. 15 quid though. There's just, there's not going to be enough markup in it. But yeah, it's great to see brand new Lego in the charity shop. I always have a look in the glass cabinets just in case. And look at that at the back there. Tummy ache. Vintage as well. It's only a fiver. It says four boards, 30 cards. I don't know if that's all complete. We'll have a look. We will have a look. Souls on that are very strong. And at the back of the Halloween display, look at this. A Terminator figure. He's huge. I've checked them over. He's got all the toes, got all his fingers. I mean, look at this. Look at the way he moves. All the little pistons and that, they all move. Let me just get the angle right. Necker. 2004. He's five quid, but he's coming over me. Give it a go. See if you can get him to work. It's a button. Buttons on the side of his head. Whoa, spooky. Let's have a quick glimpse over the teddies. I've sold these before. They bundle up really well. How much are they? £2.50 each. I mean, they don't bundle up that well. So we're leaving those. Quite like this dinosaur. Disney store. Disney store stamped on the bottom. Four ninety nine. We'll check solds on him. Quite cute, though, isn't he? But look who's up here, there. That's Yoshi. He's a big one as well, eh? Big Yoshi. £3.50 is a bit fobbly. But looking at the tag, it looks like a decent Super Mario official, is not it? Hey. You've got, to, you've got to get a big Yoshi for £3.50, surely. And tucked up here is a Dino Trucks Rivet. I picked one of these up last week when I was out with Connor. Should come with some tools on the top there, and it should make noise. Now, if you wait around to later on in the video, I'll show you how much I sold that one for on eBay. This one's $2.99. I'm actually going to leave that. Gives you an idea of how much it's worth, doesn't it? I've just seen this wooden train set here. It says Brio train set. But with stuff like this, it's very easy to mix in, you know, like Ikea do a very similar set and it's all compatible. So it's very hard to tell if this is actual Brio. There are some definite Brio bits, look, because oh, Daddy, it says Brio on it. That's like a little engine shed. Daddy, a concrete little Brio bridge there. Daddy, a little trains like that, is that Brio? Daddy, can I don't know, is that Brio? Don't know. 13 quid. I think it would be easy to sell these bits because they're very clearly identifiable. Let's track back that. I ain't gonna leave it. 
Just stopped in Coffee Lab for a quick coffee. Look at the top of that. Awesome, isn't it? A couple of pastries, but I've got to show you these games I picked up. Call of Duty, Black Ops 3, PS4, two quid. Simpsons Road Rage, PS2, two quid. Disco Leap, no manual. Look at this, Pac-Man World 2, two quid. This one does have the manual, although it is in a sorry state. Right, we're gonna tuck into these. What's that down there? Just under the clues, a lightsaber. Power 50. Purple, not in the best condition. But for only a pound 50, we'll have a quick check on solds. And yeah, this is a Mace Windu lightsaber. I guess the purple color gives it the uniqueness. Yeah, we'll get that. How pimp my ride is this? Look at that. Loads of animals on the shelf here. But this is the only one I fancy, look at that. Wolf howling at the moon. Schleck. Of course we're getting that, of course we are. And under the glass counter, they have this WWE Slam Attacks Evolution binder. Four quid, but I do have this binder at home already with it complete by about 95%. So I'll go through here, I'll see if any of these cards are the missing ones from the other binder, and hopefully I can complete the set. Honestly, I don't know if it's worth anything. I don't know if any of these cards individually are worth anything. But for four quid, you, you've got to get it. It's just so satisfying just trying to complete sets like this. Oof. Matt Hardy, champion card. Check this out. I spotted those two figures there and I thought that that looked very Pokemon. And it is Pokemon Sword and Shield official guide for only a pound. And a bit of last shop magic. Look at this. Burghouse, woman size 10, just lightweight waterproof jacket. Gore-Tex lined. It's got, was it, Burghouse Extreme. That was a ten of that. Absolute bargain when you look at solds. I don't know if this is ever going to reach eBay though. This will be probably going to my wife. If she wants it, of course. That, that though, that though, I will show you when we get home. Brilliant. Now this coat is beautiful. It's straight out of a Sunday league football manager's dugout from the 90s. Big, bold, Umbro logo. Bit of cracking, that doesn't matter. Adds to the whole style of it. Not club affiliated, really long, almost down to your knees. It's just a great jacket and it's my size, size large. So I'm gonna be keeping this. I'll just line you up in the window, look. Big Umbro logo at the back there, and I paid 15 quid for it. I was in two minds. I only bought it because it was my size, but actually looking on solds, somewhere like this should be going for between 40 and 50 quid, but I'm gonna get some use out of it. And while we're on the theme of football, I've just had a delivery on the door. Check these out. I've done a bit more shopping on eBay, haven't I? Picked up a couple of sports cards, bought them off the same seller, and they arrived today. Check these out. Look at that. Tops Merlin, Brendan Harrison, you know I've been picking him up. Hopefully he'll become good in the World Cup and his prices might spike. Numbered, 187 out of 99. Nice sparkle card as well. Really nice. But this is the one, check this. Future Stars, Jude Bellingham, Tops Chrome Champions League card. Numbered, out of 199, number 142. Really like that card. Now for those two, I paid 15 quid all in. Both of them will be going off to MGC for grading. Hopefully they come back as good grades and I can sell them on eBay, flip them for some profit. Right, let's head out to the garage. Let's go through those two bags that Connor gave me. I'm gonna go in, set it all up so it's ready to show you. While I'm doing that, check out some eBay solds and I'll run you through after. I've had eight sales on eBay Wednesday and Thursday. Let me take you through them on the first sale. I've sold another bundle of these Power Ranger Dino Charger Energems. And the way I build these bundles up, right, is these have all got different numbers on. That's number 17, this one's number one. And I find if you put five different numbers together, they go for about 20 pounds plus postage. That's what these have sold for. This puts me into profit in that Power Ranger bundle I've picked up recently. And I've got two more bundles left to sell. So that was a nice little pickup. A couple of smaller sales to show you now. PlayStation 2 game, Dastardly and Mutley. Does have the manual, but someone's written a big W on permanent marker there, and also W there. Why would you do that? Why? 
I mean, I didn't bother trying to, to get it off. The game's not really worth too much to bother spending too much time on it. I tested it, it works. Five pounds plus postage. And another five pounds plus postage sale is this WWE Championship belt. Not in the best condition. This has been well played with. There's lots of paint scuffs on it like that. It does have the Velcro, so it does tie around your, your waist. Paid a couple of quid, sold for a fiver plus postage. Some of these can be worth a lot more. This unfortunately wasn't one of the more valuable ones. And the next five sales, these are my favorite type of sales. There's nothing particularly glamorous about them. No real bolos for anyone to be looking out for, but these five items are just typical for the things that I sell. Without this type of item, I would not have my 500 pounds profit per month. This is what my business is based on. One to two pound purchase price, 10 to 15 plus postage selling price. That's that's my average sale. Let me take you through these. From 2002, Bedtime Bear, Care Bear. Sold for 11 pounds plus postage, that one. Next up, we have got a pa uh, Cabbage Patch doll. This one's pretty old, actually. 1982, obviously doesn't have any clothes on. Face is in pretty good condition. Usually you can find that these, these have a few scuffs on them. Some of the eyes can get quite scuffed. Good full head of hair, £14.50 plus postage for that one. Took an off, I had that one of 18 quid. Not that much interest, maybe because it doesn't come with any clothes. Builder Bear Marshall, off of Paw Patrol. He's got his little tag there, his fire tag, see? No clothes, this one again should come with a hat, should come with um, a red outfit there. £10 plus postage for Marshall. And then I've got a couple of pairs of football boots. Again, no top brands. These aren't the higher end football boots. These are Adidas X or black. And that's just a blue and silver player of Reebok boots there. Size seven and a half, eight and a half. Molded studs, screw in studs. Nothing really glamorous about them. But these would have cost two to three pounds and they've sold for 12 pound 50, 14 pounds plus postage, you know. So those constant sales like that, bringing in about £10 profit each. If I get two to three of those a day, that's my £500 profit total for the month here. Weekend eBay sales. Let me run you through them all. Love this first sale. An inflatable sumo suit. Brand new, still sealed. Bit of sun damage on the box there, but whoever's buying this isn't going to be caring about sun damage on the box, are they? Stag do's. Halloween maybe, either way, that is a universal, amazing fancy dress costume. That went for £20 plus postage as well. Little Power Ranger next. There he is there, Red Ranger, not particularly old. Got lots of articulation there, really detailed figure actually. Loads of screws on the back, jeez, look at that. £5 plus postage for that one. These ones I bought just on the off chance, just to see what they're all about. They cost me £3.50, you can see there's the little sticker there, and it's these Disney Sum Sum figures. They're quite recognisable there. I bought these right to see if any of them are worth individually selling on their own, and then I thought there's enough in there that it's going to be worth more than £3.50. They've sold for £8.50 plus postage, and from what I can see, none of these are particularly valuable. If you're buying these, you've got to sell them in bundles. From the limited research I've done, that's what I've found. These are a nice little brand. Check these shoes out. These are by a company called Riker. See on the bottom there, Riker. I've sold a couple of these before. They sell for a good amount of money. These have gone for £20 plus postage, but they take forever to sell. Keep an eye out for Riker. Stephen King, hardback, first edition. This one is called Under the Dome. Reasonable condition, little bit of damage on the dust jacket out there. Key thing is, first edition. Paid 50 pence in the charity shop for this one. That's gone for £10 all in. Now, I only picked this money box up when I went to see Connor last Wednesday. That's the one in there. Volkswagen Beetle. No solds, none listed on eBay. This was the only one. Didn't know where to price it at all. I paid £2 for it. Sold it for £10 plus postage. The final sale to show you, and this has taken proper years, I'm gonna say years to sell. It is a Dennis Fisher, early days Dennis Fisher, you can see it up there, Peggy and Poppet toy. It's basically a penguin and it lays an egg, and in the egg is this little baby.
there. I think I got this from Connor the Welsh Poke Picker in a swap ages and ages ago. It's got everything going for it though. Dennis Fisher, collectible brand, a toy collector, might want a boxed version of this. I mean, like I said, it's taken years to sell. £20 plus postage, probably not worth the wait. It's going to be a little bit of a pig to post as well because the box is very fragile, but it's gone anyway, it's gone. I am going to look at that creepy penguin staring at me from the top of my racking over there. So all in all, it's been quite a quiet weekend actually. Eight sales, but a nice bit of variety and good to shift some of those older items as well. Monday and Tuesday sales, only five items to show you today. But remember, I only need to make £15 profit per day to hit £500 profit per month. That's my target. Has been all year, not changing it just because we're running up to Christmas. Anyway, first up, we've got Dino Trucks Rep Tool. Now, I only picked this up last Wednesday when I went to meet up with Connor. Should come with some little tool bits that fit in the back there. And he should make noises. But I haven't put batteries in because it's the little round batteries. Don't have any with me to, to test it. So I've sold it as not working. If it works, someone's in for an absolute treat. Paid £2 or £2.50 for him. He's gone for £8 plus postage. Not a massive markup, but a quick seller. Next up, I'm from the same charity shop. My son picked this one up. This is Mr. Conductor. Quite cute looking, isn't he? He's got three sound modes, actually. Where is it? English, Spanish, or just general singing sound effects. Awesome toy. Reasonable condition, although someone's pushed his neck back a bit too hard, like that. So you can see there is a slight bit of damage on there. Fully disclosed in the listing. Keep an eye out for him, because even with that little bit of damage, he's sold for £16 all in. Without that damage, you can obviously sell it for more. No profit for me, though, for this, because my son found this one, and I promised he could have the pocket money for it. So I think it cost two quid, something like that. So yeah, he's he's made a tenner. He's made a tenner, near enough. Good on him. Next up, this is a nice sale. Look at this. Nice vintage tow truck. Real old school graphics on there. Just an old school, nice, neat package box. I love having stuff like this in stock and for sale. Set number 332. Oh, it's class. I mean, it's pretty basic. That is it. But it's got the instructions in there. I paid up for this as well. I, I can't remember what I paid in the charity shop. It, it might have been some like a tenner. But that has sold for 40 quid all in. And that's going global shipping to America. And another global shipping sale to America sold this i parted ways with it this is the playmobil mobile crane set number three seven six one doesn't have all the figures should come with six i've only got four doesn't have all the tools but it's got plenty of accessories all this arm rises up it, it stands about a good meter tall winch works this front little winch works it's got all these little kind of outriggers they all work just a really nice set Actually, if my if my son hadn't had seen this, I would have probably kept this and given it to him for Christmas. I paid a tenner at the boot sale for this, and it sold really quickly. I let it go for 30 quid all in, which seemed to be about the going rate. But, I mean, on the approach to Christmas, maybe I could have charged a bit more, but there is a bit of damage. There should be a little handle on the back there, and this hook for the big arm there doesn't always stay up. It's really touchy to get that bit work, working. Anyway... 30 quid all in that sold for. Paid a tenner. It's about a tenner profit. Was it worth it? Mm, probably not. But again, it's nice to have cool items like that for sale on the store. And the oh, speaking of cool items, speaks of cool items. From Disney Cars 2, check this out. This is Finn McMissile. Ready? Yes, that happened. And yes, that happened. All tested, all working, just a really nice functioning toy. It hasn't sold for much. It's gone for a tenner all in, but I would have paid a pound for it, something like that. But how neat is that? It's a really nice toy. So all in all, only the five sales to, to show you split across the two days, but there is enough profit in here for me to hit that £500 per month profit target. Right, so I've bought these two bags outside because I thought we could set up on the table. There's a lot to go through. Let me take you through it all. So, bag number one, it's pretty heavy. There it is, yeah. First thing that's poking out the top, tons of teddy bears, look at this. Sesame Street, Big Bird, from 1997. Quite a fair bit of yellowing on his eyes. Cool though, isn't it? 
This one though, this is the one that I'm really excited about. Check this out, I used to love Super Ted back in the day. This one is from 1984, it's one of the Dakin ones. You can see his little smile is coming apart there. It looks like he's got a little tash, doesn't it? But check this out, it looks like he's got the cape on as well, look. He does, he's got a little cape, look. I've, I've been looking out for one of these rages. This is one of my kind of grail pieces I've been looking out. Look at this. There's his cape on the back. There's the little footprints. He is absolutely brilliant. He'll be going into my collection. Thank you very much, Connor, for that one. Da, 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 da. What else is in here? Tasmanian Devil. This is one of the ace ones there. <laughs> Look at that. Really, really neat. And he's a helicopter again. He is. Next one. Please. Who's this? The Jim Henson Company. Always a good sign where it says that from 1999. That it looks like he should have batteries in there. We will give him a good test, make sure he's working. <laughs> Who, who's that? Who are you have in there? Cuddle me Elmo, or if that's what it's called, I don't know. From 2006 Mattel. Thank you. Eyes in good condition, obviously still working. Cool toy. Who's that? Peacock. You never know what you're going to get from these bags. Just a peacock. Unbranded, whether the tag's been cut off, I don't know. I will Google Lens it to see if I can find the manufacturer, see if it's worth anything. Pretty pretty though, isn't it? Bag full of trains. Loads of die-cast trains. Not in the best condition. Stuff like this you can usually bundle up pretty well. I will go through to see if there are any rarer vehicles in here that are worth selling on their own. Ah, that's Trackmaster. Trackmaster Bogey, the best. That's always worth looking out for. He'll go for about seven or eight quid on his own. Cushion case, vintage, My Little Pony. Faded, but I don't know if it's meant to be faded. Could just be a sign of the times. Two nice big buttons on there. Powerpuff Girl. The old Link. Shield on the back, sword in his hand. From the Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. 2011 that was. Pretty cute with me box of question of sport cards. Hey, yeah. Wales Grand Slam 2005 from the Western Mail. Wales on Sunday. Look at cheapest. Shane Williams. Remember when he had that hairstyle? Oh my God. <laughs> Gavin Henson. There he is. That might be set off for grading. That might be a Gavin Henson rookie card. Who knows? Is there a market out there? Would anyone be interested? <laughs> Bags are on. Now I am assuming Connor has taken out the uh, Mike Tyson card. Cheers for them, Con. There was something else in that bag before it flew on the floor. Where was it? And the last thing in that first bag, check this out. Pokemon Crystal. This isn't official though. The official one comes in like a clear case and it's got lots of speckles on. Still, nice to see. Made in US. I mean, I don't know if it's going to play or not. And this will be going straight into the collection of Pokemon Game Boy games. Bag number two then. First of all, we have an absolute ton of PlayStation 1 games. I'll take you through those in a minute. We'll go inside. I, fa I fancy going up into the loft and getting my old PlayStation 1 games down. And we'll see which of these are going to go into the collection. But let, let me take you through the bag. Because there are just some cool bits in here as well. Hang on, Super Dead. Put Super Dead out there. E.T. Retro. Another E.T. at the bottom there. And this one's got a little pool tag. Daddy, can I this one? That one is an alien off of Men in Black. Perhaps you should have a figure in there? Not sure. Quite cool though. This looks like a bag of WWE wrestlers. Again, I'll have to go through and check them individually, see if any are worth selling oh, on their own. If not, they Daddy, make a nice little bundle. Monster Daddy. Cool retro monster there. Monster High Doll, that's Draculaura. Light, nice accessories. Fully clothed with shoes. That should be about tenner, I would have thought, all in. Wow, look at that. Papo Horse, 2011. Who's this? Small Soldiers. God, look at his grin there. See if you can work that out with that one out. There you go. Kingdom Hearts 2. Some retro. Star Wars figures. Know, Daddy. These are the Kenner ones from back in the day, 1977. Look at that one. Hello. Motu. You already have one of those. Look at that. Got the kind of harness on him there as well. That's really cool. 
Ready? Yep, some more aliens. Racing car there and lots of books. Adventure Hi, Time, Daddy. these are graphic novels. San Andreas. Funko Pop. Funko Pop. Brilliant. Look at that there, look at that. Amazing. See? So, I've said it before, Connor the Welsh Poke Picker is a fantastic picker. He always just finds really cool stuff. There's items in there which you won't think are worth anything, but you search sold listings and they just are. And this is a great way for me to learn about new items, make sure that when I'm out and about, I can visualize them and I can see them, or perhaps pick them up. So Connor, thank you very much for these two bags. Really appreciate it. Let's head inside and check out some of these PlayStation games. So we've just been at the loft and dragged out all of my old PlayStation 1 games. Let me show you them. So here we are, tray full of them. There is a right mixture of titles in here. There's a lot of FIFAs, a lot of Formula 1 games, but there are some nice titles. Gran Turismo 2, great game. Grand Theft Auto 2, Colin McRae Rally, that was a beaut. Driver 2, put a lot of hours in on that. Silent Hill Platinum. One of my favorite games. Got the manual in there, sweet. Tomb Raiders, classic. Wipeout, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2. Probably my favorite PlayStation 1 game of all time. The soundtrack on that as well. What a game. Medal of Honor, Underground. Saga Frontier 2, I think I've bought that. Never actually played it. Might have put it in the PlayStation, turned it on, turned it straight off. Bridge Racer, Siphon Filter. Spawn in Cold Blood. Brilliant. Space Hulk. Brilliant tiles. Oh, have I still got it? Look at this, look. This is how hardy the PlayStation 1 was. Time Crisis. This had a massive crack in it. I don't know if you can see it. See, look at that massive crack there. I, st I This still works though. I put a load of this um, mask and tape on and it still plays. Don't make them like that anymore. So these are all the games Connor has given me. A huge stack of them and I've sorted them out. These are all just, there, there's some pretty decent titles um, in here but none of them really stand out. Saying that Spice World, Woo! game and I have been playing a few of these right on the PlayStation just just really enjoying them but here are some of the actual standout titles look at this Tekken 2 Black Box Rayman 2 look at that The Lost World Jurassic Park amazing Spyro Duke Nukem time to kill but the real big hitters are here Resident Evil Black box, got the manual. I mean, I've got plenty of cases that I can use to make this a lot better. There we are, Resident Evil. What a game. And we do have a lot of disc only games and that is what I put in here. Resident Evil 2, discs one and two, amazing. Straight in the collection that is. Dino Crisis, Capcom game as well. It's basically Resident Evil, but with dinosaurs. Manual, look at the graphic there, amazing. And then running through some more of those disc only games, we've got Oddworld, Abe's Odyssey, brilliant game. Nightmare Creatures, I put to, I've spent some time on that. That game is really difficult, but this is the one. Silent Hill, Black Label Edition. So I've already got the Platinum version, this is fantastic. I'm so pleased to have it in the collection. So Connor, thank you ever so much for giving me these games. Fantastic. Really looking forward, like I said, to go in and spend a few more. Let's be honest, I'm gonna sink a ton of hours into these, just playing them and enjoying them. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, I know it's been a bit of a long one, but I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and I'll catch up with you next week, where we'll, of course, be out in the charity shops trying to look for more things to resell on eBay and just add to the collection. Catch you later.